Hello YouTube, how are we doing today? It's Vito here with more Epic 7 content. Today guys, I'm going to be bringing up the Epic 7 update just to close out for this week and what's to come. Without further ado, let's get into it. As we already know, Epic 7 is going to have to collab with Overlord, which includes of course the new side story, Overlord for Another World, as well as three new limited heroes, one of which is free, which is Ainz. The other two limited being Albedo and Shaltier. And of course, during the event, you can unlock uh, Ein's Zone Artifact. As well as during this collaboration, there's a spe special check-in event, make sure to get on that. As well as a new lobby theme. Seeing here, there's the name. And you can see who we can expect to see in this side story. As well as during this event, uh, when you play a side story, you get acclaimed these tokens that you can use to craft uh, special epic equipments that we get to choose but as for whether we can choose the stats, sub sub stats or not that's to remain to be seen which I'm assuming we're not going to be able to but regardless of that week 1 is going to be destruction, health, immunity and week 2 and 3 will be speed, crit and pennant so happy crafting everyone Alongside that, there's the Trial of Nazarek event. During the size, uh, playing the game during the collabs will allow you to acquire both Ainz, Triple S imprint him, and get his own artifact. So make sure to constantly get on and complete whatever is necessary to uh, Triple S him and unlock his artifact. As mentioned before, there's going to be a whole week of login events, so make sure to get in and log in each and every day for just seven days and afterwards you can you can like skip a day or two it won't really matter but make sure to log in for these first seven days alongside that we're also going to get a whole week's worth of covenant free summons so also another um, thing to keep you invested into logging in every day so make sure to log in you won't want to lose any potential free mo units that might show up Wink. And of course, we get the new lobby theme, which I'm excited for. Which we can see there's Ainz at his throne, as well as a beta and Shaltier on the sides. Alongside outside of all the collapse, we also get to see a few um, things added to the game, which of course we receive them in game, which includes uh, new exclusive equipment for both Aria and Teo. There's extra functions, there's buff, um, debuff sorting improvements. We already know what's already here, which is the Forge Equipment event. War Arena schedule alongside the new ML uh, skin. And more UI improvements. And for those who are returning or brand new to the game, you get special bonuses, which will be mentioned in a bit. So first and foremost, uh, the Tails and Ares E. I won't be going along too much on this since I'm get, I'm assuming that most of you have already seen what uh, these EE can do. But for those who just want to look at it, you can definitely just skim over and see what's to go. As I move on to the next slide. As you can see here, these are all extra stuff that's been happening. One of which, of course, is the main one, which is the Forge equipment. So make sure to do your weeklies and get that 100 points. That adds up a lot. So make sure you do that. Uh, equipment, equip all function is just an extension to what was originally here, but now has its own little tab button that you can click instead of needing to go through all the other processes that we had before, which still exists by the way. But debuff sorting improvement is just pretty much how these buffs are going to be aligned. You can see um, what what order or so, whatever they can do. In this little tab right here, the UI improvement is just that the lobby the theme tab it has its own has been placed separately, which I found out that ones that are animated where like if you have certain characters that start showing up on the lobby animation, they're completely separate now, which is unfortunate because I used to combine them with other like uh, lobby themes that aren't in the same category. To make it very unique, but unfortunately, it is what it is. I just have to live with it. 
And as I mentioned earlier, for those who are new to the game or returning, this should incentivize you to come back or even start the game if you want. Because after all, there's new collab upcoming this literally this week. And War Arena, as you can see, is Briar Witch Series. If you have not figured out Vanessa already, um, that's pretty much that. So her new skin is called Night Commander. Honestly, you. I'll leave opinions out there. If you want to comment what your thoughts on this, you can definitely do so. I'll be looking at them. But personally, for me, I love her base um, design better than this. It is vibrant, but not to her theme, in my opinion. As of now, we already know we have Bihu and Nakwa as the current raid ups that are currently here, which won't last until the end of. Wednesday night with PST. So if you want to get them for whatever reason, then do you can go ahead. But otherwise, save up for the limited. We are coming right after them. The first of the two limited being Albedo, and alongside her will be Baldazan, which if you, you saw earlier in a pre couple slides ago, shows that he's going to be featured in some way in the side story. So. Do it be interested to see that, but otherwise, everyone should probably save up for the limiteds because there are two new limiteds. And if you're just like really bad luck RNG, you don't have the luck, you might need all the bookmark you can get. And we already know what who's here already in the mystic rotation. We have C Fantapolitis, see many people pull already built and used. I'm still trying to get her, but even after that, I know I don't have the gears for her, so unfortunately, I won't be doing too much showcase with her for a while. And alongside that, I got Assassin Card. We got Assassin Cartuja as a four-star dark hero. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a quick wrap up. There aren't too much things that are new. And as you can tell, the format of my this video will be slightly different from the preview one because I am recording on a different uh, device. But let's not drown on that. Uh, thank you all for time for watching. Hope your summons go well. And this video here is signing out.